Welcome, everyone, to What's Trending Live from the Samsung Blogger Lounge in Austin, Texas at South by Southwest. Hey. We have an awesome audience early in the morning eating breakfast tacos, having fun. I'm joined by Bernie Burns, who's co-hosting with me. And, of course, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Andrew Ian behind the new series, Cosmos. So can you guys talk a little bit about Cosmos? How is Cosmos different than other science shows? Like, we, some people who maybe didn't get a chance to see the first run of the show, like, can you explain the spaceship? <laughs> Of imagination, maybe the cosmic calendar as well? well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ship of the imagination uh, is powered by twin engines of skepticism and wonder. Not one at the expense of the other. No cutting corners on the wonder and no cutting corners on the rigorous science that is the basis for the experience. Cosmos is, is that place where we hope the music the visuals, the VFX, all of that stuff comes together in a transporting odyssey across space and time. And also consider that many documentaries that some we've even come to know and love, uh, but they don't have quite the staying power in our hearts and minds that the original Cosmos did or that the new Cosmos we think will have. You, imagine what you might do. You, you park a camera on a tripod and interview some talking heads who are experts, and then you stitch that together, and then you present your documentary. And so you heard how different this is mm -hmm. from, from what a traditional documentary would be. In fact, I don't think, even think documentary is the right word. I don't know what word it would invent a word. We have a word yet. We'll invent a word for it. It's a visual out. experience. You know, an experience. It, it, visual one that it influenced you intellectually, physically, emotionally, and maybe even a little bit spiritually. Was it a bit intimidating to jump into um, such an iconic... Um, I guess a brand like this. Yeah, you'd think so, but for me it wasn't because I'd, I never viewed myself as stepping into Carl Sagan's shoes because I can't be, if I try to be Carl Sagan, I mean, I can get the billions. You know, I, I practice that. You know? <laughs> we all practice the, the billions. Uh, but you, uh, if I tried to be him, I would just fail because he's Carl Sagan. But, but I can really, I, I can be a really good version of me, you see? And so... And, and, and I can I can just yeah. do that and 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 you fold that together with the the kind of of, of, of soaring uplifting uh, uh, storytelling mm -hmm. and and so now this is the continuation and if there's a third cosmos down the line somebody else will then bring that mm -hmm. and it would be my hope that they're not trying to be me they're going to be some other uh, expression of what the world needs at that time and in that moment.